Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're going to do a little bit of work on Deathstroke. I don't really feel like working on Deathstroke. I'm going to save that for the next video. I'm going to take this 3 quarter inch PVC and I'm going to cut it into 2 and 3 quarter lengths. Because that's what I think a shotgun shell looks like. But if you really want to be specific, I guess you can Google it yourself. I'm just working with what I got. found this reddish duct tape at Walmart. Fairly cheap. I wrapped it around the PVC pipe making sure that I have some left over. So I can fold them over like that. Give it the uh, folded in look. I got me some metal tape and I'm taping it around one end of it. This will complete the look of a shotgun shell. And then you're going to repeat this process five more times because he needs six shells because that's how many he has. I should want more. And this will be mounted to his left shoulder pads. I'm sanding down the painted area where I'm going to apply some hot glue. This is going to hold the strap down. I'm using two millimeter craft foam sheet. This is gonna act as a strap and I have some nylon strap which I'm hot gluing down and over the shotgun shells. And I'm laying them side to side and gluing down the straps as I go, trying to keep it really tight next to each other. This will give me enough room to place all six shotgun shells onto the shoulder pads. And then you're gonna cut and seal off the ends and glue it down. So I picked up a pair of gloves from the local hardware store. It's only $10 and it had nothing on it. So it was a good canvas for adding some accents to it. Took some six millimeter craft foam and I cut them into various shapes for the fingers, the back of the hand, and the knuckles. I'm using some spray adhesive to hold them down to this cardboard paper. This will keep them in place while I seal and paint and do some magic to the foam. It's easier than painting all these individual pieces. When you have it glued down, it's like painting one big piece. I added some black overspray to give it that grungy texture and I'm going over it with some chrome aluminum paint to so make it look like the orange was actually painted on some metal plates. I'm using hot glue to attach all the pieces onto the glove like playing with Legos except for not Legos. You want to make sure all the pieces are separated so that you can make fists and throw fingers up and whatnot. Make peace signs and bird signs to Batman and cool stuff, you know, sign language. So there you have it. I took some cheap gloves. I made him some really awesome gloves for your cosplay costume. Saved you a lot of money there. You're welcome. These utility belts and pouches can be pretty expensive and Deathstroke actually has a lot of pouches and some never ending straps that goes all over the place. You can take these leftover EVA foams which I have no idea what to use them for other than making these pouches with and wrap them with some scrap fabric material. You can use vinyl, leather or whatever floats your boat, I don't care. I use hot glue to hold everything in place and wrap it like as if it was a Christmas gift. Not really but at least you got yourself some nice non-functional pouches but then again why else would you need these pouches other than cosplaying it's just cosplay bro you want to make sure the front of the pouches are nice and tight and the back of the pouches are neat and clean because it's going to be pressed up against your belt and you don't want them to be all bulky, you know what I mean. Taking some 2mm craft foam, this is going to act as the opening piece of the pouch. I'm hot gluing it down so it will never open because the last thing we want is for people to find out there's actually scrap foam underneath. But then again, I don't care what they think. You shouldn't either. I'm using some nylon strap. This is going to be hot glued down. And you want to make sure you leave some space for your belt to slide through before you glue everything down. And there you have it. We're almost done. We're going to add a little bit of accent to the front end, which is going to be this thumbtack that I'm going to hot glue and push into the pouch. It's going to make it look like it's got a button, which is cool. And now there are some of y'all out there that think you should have some functional pouches. Well, if you have the money, go buy one and stuff them up with foam because there's nothing else you can shove in there. Really, you only got one phone and one wallet. What else? So as for the thigh guard, I am taking some Velcros and hot gluing them together to where when I fold them over, the loop side touches the hook side. And then I'm going to glue it to the thigh guard. This will strap it up to my belt. This will prevent the thigh guard from slipping down when you walk around and you don't want to do that the undressing at the cons like look at Destro getting naked again once you get everything together it should look like this and putting on my knee pads and my other knee pads and my shin guards with my boots and my other shin guards and now I'm just rambling 
I'm sorry the camera is out of focus. I am doing this all by myself, so bear with me. Took some Velcro pieces and I'm gluing it onto my shirt. In the uh, bicep guard, I have the other Velcro piece and this keeps it from slipping down because gravity happens, that's why. I got some more Velcro straps. This is gonna strap onto the inside of my armor piece and it's gonna loop down and under my belt and back over and then I can put my side guards on. It will keep it in place so it doesn't raise up on me. Now everything is nice and fitted and comfortable. I got my shoulder pads on and my bicep guards and now I'm slipping on my gauntlets and my awesome gloves I just made and these bullet shotgun shells, so cool. And here is a quick shot of the back. I must warn you though, every time I put this mask on, I become a very different person. I become this animal, this party animal. Beware Gotham. Dun dun dun. All right guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope y'all learned something. I still got a little bit of work to do on the stroke, but I figure I'd share you guys the progress so far. Um, I know I gotta make some weapons, gotta have some straps, got a sword too, and some daggers and some cool stuff. So that'll be in upcoming videos. Figure I'd show you guys what I've got done so far. Today's shout out goes to a couple of YouTubers. First one goes to Captain Fitzy. He's been wanting me to finish the Deathstroke. I've been lagging because life happens. But anyways, just hang tight, buddy. Got more videos coming. And then I also want to give a shout out to Shepherd of Men Custom Cosplay. Hey guys. Thanks for checking out my videos. Thanks for watching you know, my stuff. I just hit my 1 million views. You know, hopefully I can get more subscribers. Anyways, hey, stepping stone, right? Don't forget to like my Facebook, follow me on Instagram, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Yeah, man. I even got some Batgirl coming up. I got late guest joke. I got the Nightwing. A lot of y'all's been asking for that one. So, yeah, man, stay tuned. And...